Hello, I'm Gil Zilka, and welcome to my channel. This is my series entitled Essential Classical Music, where we look at the best recordings of the major classical music works. This video is taken out of my larger video where I cover the major concerto recordings. And if you enjoy this, I hope you'll take the time to also watch that larger one. Uh, just know that you don't have to watch the entire thing uh, in one big long take. Uh, it is divided into chapters, so it's really easy to just click through and uh, view uh, whichever work uh, you're curious about. So I hope you enjoy it. And there are two powerhouse concertos that Tchaikovsky wrote, uh, the, the first of his three piano concertos. Uh, as well as his violin concerto. Uh, so let's start with the piano concerto uh, here. I'm going to try this. Let's see. This is a real, another one of those famous openings, like degree. Let's see if I can. Da 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 da. Anyways, most people, if you have any knowledge of classical music, you're going you're going to know that that famous opening. Um, like the Rachmaninoff piano concertos numbers two and three, uh, this one is is just a great showpiece uh, for pianists. Um, and the the first one I want to recommend for uh, this one is. Let's see where I put it because it's 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 a coupling again. Ah, here it is, Martha Argerich, the coupling with her fantastic Prokofiev Third. Uh, this is from 1971. It's with Charles Dutois and the Royal Philharmonic. And uh, one of the things that makes this a great recording is is partly the uh, the accompaniment. It's it's this lush, beautiful uh, uh, sound. Uh, Dutois does a great job with it. Um, you know, it's almost like a symphony written with piano, kind of like the Brahms concertos are. And then you have Argerich, uh, who is in her prime and just uh, sounds wonderful, uh, virtuosic, uh, uh, very individual. Uh, it, it, it's just a, a great interpretation and in where I would start. But there are many others. Uh, we, of course, need to discuss maybe the most famous of all, Van Cliburn. Uh, this is the one that, of course, put him on the map. Uh, he went over to Moscow and won the Tchaikovsky competition uh, with this concerto, conducted by Kirill Kondershin. So then he and Kondershin went into the recording studio with the RCA Symphony and made one of the most famous classical recordings ever made. Uh, now, it's not one that actually, I would say, you know, it's, it, it doesn't overwhelm you with the virtuosity. Uh, it's a little bit on the slower side, actually. Uh, but Clyburn, he, he plays it, uh, it does sound like a young man who is learning to appreciate this piece and showing us how wonderful it is. <laughs> I mean, I know that sounds a little bit hokey, but th there is that element to it of, of innocent discovery. He's also got the full measure of it. He's got the, the you know, the, he has this wonderful sonority to his powerful, uh, the sounds he could create. Uh, and of course, Kondrashen uh, knows the music uh, very well. So uh, this is uh, a wonderful version, um, as is. Let's see, where we, where we have it here. As is this one, Earl Wilde. Uh, again, we, we talked about his Rachmaninoff concertos. Uh, this is with Anatole Fistulari. And the Royal Philharmonic, 1962, uh, very well recorded. Wonderful balance between the piano and the orchestra. A very natural interpretation, uh, very grand, very romantic, uh, powerful, virtuosic, everything you could want. Uh, but we also have some historic versions to talk about. Let's see. One of them is, and this is not prehistoric, this is just quasi-historic, you might say. This is in 1955. This is from Emil Gallels. This is with Fritz Reiner and the Chicago Symphony. And uh, 
the partnership of Galel's and Reiner, uh, we talked about the Brahms second piano concerto earlier. It's just really fantastic. Uh, this is this is one that overwhelms you right from the beginning with the assertiveness and, and virtuosity and, and powerful uh, playing and the orchestral support. Um, you know, Galel's is, you know, he's, he's just fantastic in this recording. Uh, we also have this one from Svatoslav Richter. Uh, this is with Carol Anserl and the Czech Philharmonic. This is from 1954. And this one, mainly you want to hear it for Anserl's uh, artistic insights, his virtuosity. He was never a boring performer. <laughs> he always made, uh, made music out of everything he played. Uh, and so that's worth hearing, even though the sound is, is somewhat uh, distant, the, the, the orchestral sound is... You know, it has a little bit of a cavernous quality to it. It's it's still worth hearing for uh, for the sake of hearing Richter. Uh, now, another one uh, from the early days. And this is really early days. This is from 1929. Uh, comes from Solomon. Solomon conducted the first. Uh, sorry, recorded the first piano concerto with uh, Hamilton Hardy and the Halle Orchestra, and. Again, with Solomon, you, you get that, that musicianship uh, with everything, uh, in addition to his powerful playing and virtuosity, which, to be honest, I would say, especially in this earlier recording, he even shows it more here than he does in his later recordings. Uh, so he's got the full measure of the power of virtuosity, but then also this wonderful, uh, this wonderful artistic mind as well. Uh, the sound, of course, is very distant. It's 1929. You know what are you going to expect? But it's it's listenable. You know through the crackles. It's it's still uh, one that if you if you if you uh, enjoy this piece, you, you might want to check out this interpretation. However, one of the great historical recordings of all time, uh, I have to say, is this legendary recording, justly legendary. Vladimir Horowitz uh, with Arturo Toscanini. I, I don't know why they only show Toscanini here. I guess it's the Toscanini edition, but Horowitz was playing. <laughs> um, yeah, in fact, it's, 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 it's not just the concerto, but it's the Mussorgsky Pictures and Exhibition with, with Horowitz on piano. So, I mean, this is, this, you know, I don't know why they don't feature Horowitz on the cover. But anyways, um, this recording is just electric it's just amazing it was recorded live at carnegie hall 1943 it was uh, a war bonds concert so it was there was it was made um uh to raise funds for the war uh and horowitz and toscanini together are just on fire uh it's just one of those performances that we're lucky to have uh, caught on tape where everybody is of, of just one artistic mind and just going for it and just playing is just out of this world the sound is actually fairly good especially for a live recording it's fairly clear it's a little bit on the dry side which is what you normally expect from toscanini's uh nbc recordings uh so it's it's fairly listenable actually and i think it's actually a, a good gateway so to speak for people who are hesitant to listen to priest era recordings, uh, one of the great legendary recordings of all time. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, uh, I hope you'll also take time to click the like and subscribe buttons. And with that, I want to wish you all a great day and happy listening.